anyone ever died of boredom, Dana? If we don't get a case soon, I might be the first. You know me, not working drives me crazy. Can't you just use your detective skills to find a case, even if it's just a missing dog? I know, I'll call my friend, Bob. He's also a private detective, so maybe he needs help cracking a case. Besides, we have a new logo. Now, where did I put it? Could you find it, Dana? Strange. Bob is usually at home by now. Mel, I have bad news. Now oh, this can't be right. It must be some other Robert Hill. Mel, I'm sorry. I said it's a different Robert Hill. Come on, pick up Bob. Damn it! I have to go see for myself. The attack was sudden. There was a brief struggle. This was no accident. 
Robert Hill was murdered. If Robert was murdered, he must have been in someone's way. Let's search for clues that the police might have missed. This is my half of an old photo of us. Bob might have left the other half as a clue.
I was investigating an adultery case for a rich man when I accidentally witnessed the death of a man named Jake McLean, a murderer who managed to escape justice. I started to dig further in that direction and found several more strange deaths. All people that maybe belong behind bars, but not in a cemetery. The deaths are all connected, yet the police waved me aside like a fly. I'll need an old friend's help to sort out this tangled mess. Mal, your friend was killed because he uncovered something. We need to tell the police. No, not yet. I want to find the one who did this. This is personal, Dinga. I need your help here. Okay, I'll help. I know the doctor who prescribed this medication. It's not much, but it's a start. Why don't you go check Robert's case files? Whoever this killer is, they seem to think they're the hand of justice, targeting those that avoided punishment. I just hope I can catch them before Mal gets himself in trouble. Dr. Whitman. Dana, how are you? I haven't seen you since you quit the force. You stopped coming to our sessions. I'm fine, doctor. I still miss Ursula, but I'm learning to live with it. I need your help with something. Who was this prescription for? I'm sorry, Dana. You know I can't share that. Patient confidentiality, of course. If you'd like to make an appointment for psychiatric help, the nurse can help you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to see someone.
What kind of maniac hunts people down? Although if he's only hunting criminals, maybe what he really needs is mental health, not prison. Please calm down, Matthew. Don't be silly. We can discuss this.
Matthew, wait. <laughs> Miss Strange, you're just in time. It was my patient, Matthew Chan. He has aggression issues, but I... I tried to stop him. You must find him, Dana. Please, don't report him to the police. He may panic and do something rash. Don't worry about me. I'll go to the hospital to get checked out. Here, this might come in handy.
Robert Hill. We're the killer's next targets. Strange investigations, Malcolm speaking. Get out of there, Mal. Matthew Chan is the killer, and we're next on his list. Dana? Who is... Hey, who are you? What? Hang on, Mal. Dana Strange? Long time no see. Say, you don't look so good. When was your last visit with a therapist? Eve, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a phone to call the police. I heard some noise coming from your agency. I'd hurry up there if I were you.
Wow, he got me good. Thanks for patching me up. I owe you one. Who was that, anyway? His name is Matthew Chan. Someone gave him the dossiers of targets for him to kill. We need to figure out who. But first, we have to stop Chan. These dossiers are police files, so whoever it was had access to the police archive. Chan dropped this. He left through the window and took the fire escape to the roof. There's a way down on the other side, so I'll cut him off there. Be ready for him. Fire escape is the only way down. Unless Chan is hiding, he'll return soon. I need to be ready. Chan is sensitive to flashing lights. Maybe I can use that.
Wait, wait. I can't take this anymore. He said this would help me manage my aggression. That I was serving justice. He gave me medicine that made everything feel so clear and right. I even felt stronger. But I have so much blood on my hands now. It's not right. Here, I give up. I'm turning myself in. Matthew Chan is just a puppet, so who was pulling the strings? It was Dr. George Whitman the whole time. I can't believe it. I wish I could go with you, but... but take this. It fell out of your pocket when you went after Chan. Shutterbug again. Miss Strange, you have something big going on, I can tell. I should get an office near yours. I'd have guaranteed work for the next decade. Speaking of your office, I noticed a suspicious man hanging around there a couple of days ago. I snapped a photo. Just in case. Here.
Whitman. He's behind this. He's the true killer. Matthew Chan was just his weapon.
Hello, Miss Strange. Dr. Whitman said you'd come back. He's out, but try back tomorrow. You again? I don't understand. Do you work here? Where's the other nurse? Sorry, I don't have time to chat. My shift is over, so I'm going home. Oh, but you left some things here during your last visit.
I knew you'd come, Miss Strange. I'm sincerely sorry that you and your friends got in my way. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> Someone there? Dana? Is that you? I knew you'd lead me to a hot scoop. This living guy is off his rocker. I'll call the police. Be careful.
When my daughter's killer was acquitted due to lack of evidence, I knew the system was broken. I was a bit passionate during my testimony, so it was thrown out of court, and they released him right there in the courtroom. When my daughter's killer was acquitted due to lack of evidence, I knew the system was broken. I was a bit passionate during my testimony, so it was thrown out of court, and they released him right there in the courtroom. I decided to use my knowledge of neuroleptic medicine and psychology to correct our judicial system's errors. I decided to use my knowledge of neuroleptic medicine and psychology to correct our judicial system's errors. My new drug could make a person suggestible and as malleable as clay. I just needed someone to serve as my instrument of justice. I didn't have to wait long. My new drug could make a person suggestible and as malleable as clay. I just needed someone to serve as my instrument of justice. I didn't have to wait long.
I guess it's time to put our cards on the table. I'm you, Dana. Well, you're subconscious. Only you can see and hear me. That... that can't be right. How is this possible? We can talk about this later. Listen, Whitman has a gun. I saw it when he dragged us into the basement. Be careful. He's desperate. I know I can't stop you. You and your sister have always been stubborn. If you're careful, you can catch Whitman before the police arrive. Wait, you can't just... Where did she go? I'm disappointed in you, Dana. I thought we understood each other during your therapy sessions. I'm stopping the murderers that your system lets walk free. Don't make me kill you like I did to Detective Hill. It's too late, Dr. Whitman. The police are on their way. You can't escape justice. No one gave us the right to judge, George. In the pursuit of justice, you became a criminal yourself. Have a look at Blackbird's article. Brilliant detective Dana Strange stop serial maniac. Oh, jeez. Sounds like you have a fan. <laughs> oh, my ribs. <laughs> <laughs>